Welcome back to the channel. This is Peter Day here, um, co-founder of OptimizeToConvert.com. Um, if you're looking at this picture, I'm the guy on the right. My brother Tyler Day is on the left. In this video, we're going to talk about Shopify. Um, we're going to talk about drop shipping and uh, kind of verse affiliate marketing. So the question that came in um, was, I didn't even fully understand the question, so I'm going to put a little bit of a spin on the question. But this, the question had to do with basically um, the difference between drop shipping and affiliate marketing. And I, I mean, I think that is a little bit of a kind of silly newbie um, question because that can be answered very quickly. The difference between uh, drop shipping and affiliate marketing is that um, drop shipping is when you are selling a physical product on the internet and you're having a third party company handle your fulfillment, your shipping of that product to the customer, okay? So that's drop shipping. It's when you are um, doing that. Affiliate marketing is when you're just promoting someone else's product. So uh, for example, you could be promoting someone else's um, e-commerce product or someone else's Shopify store, but you yourself would not be doing drop shipping in that instance. You would just be a um, affiliate of their product or their store, right? So. Uh, that question is just so kind of newbie and so elementary that there's no point of dwelling on that question that much. But I want the question did come in. So to answer that question, the difference between drop shipping and um, affiliate marketing is affiliate marketing is when you're just pushing traffic to someone else's thing. Um, drop shipping is when you are kind of controlling the whole operation and you're um, selling a product and then basically facilitating getting that product shipped by a third-party drop shipping service to um, the customer. So just like controlling a little bit more about the back end. What I want to cover in this video though is what people are probably really wondering. It's like, what do you think about drop shipping, Peter? What do you think about e-commerce? And what do you think about this stuff? So I'm going to spend some time in this video um, sharing my opinions about these things because I really think that it's the opinion that matters. My brother and I have been doing um, affiliate marketing for almost 10 years. So we've um, we've done drop shipping, we've done e-commerce, we've done a lot in this industry and we've made a lot of mistakes and we've also done a lot of things right um, at the same time. So let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, again, my name's Peter Day. I'm the guy on the right in the car photo. My brother's on the left. Um, we own the site Optimized to Convert. Um, we're also the founders of this affiliate group, Affiliates Ask Anything. Um, so if you're an affiliate marketer, be sure to join this group. Just go to Facebook, just type in Affiliates Ask Anything into your Facebook search bar. You'll find this group. You'll know it's ours when you see this uh, kind of red and gray logo and the Optimize to Convert and press join. And let me tell you how this group works. This group is it's almost like a forum. It's free. But how it works is people can ask questions. And the whole point of the group is other affiliate marketers, um, including ourselves, helping each other out. So it's not uncommon for someone to ask a question and my brother or me personally or one of our moderators will actually go in and personally answer some of these questions. Um, a lot of the questions are just getting answered though uh, between members. Um, I think this is kind of impressive. At the time that I'm recording this video, it's seven in the morning and there's already 10 new uh, posts in the Facebook group. So what that means is you know, people are active in this thing. Um, there's maybe 10 questions being asked uh, 10 topics being discussed new um, today, and it's over 6,600 members. It's funny, each time I've been recording one of these videos, it seems like the numbers have been going up. Two days ago, um, it was in the 64, 6,500 number. It's a fast growing group. But how you can join again is by simply going to Affiliates Ask Anything um, on Facebook. If you're for some reason having a hard time finding it on um, Facebook, just simply go to Google type in affiliates, ask anything, and um, it's the ask anything public group. You can just find the group there, but join the group. Uh, my brother and I own it, so if you just answer those um, questions in order to join, we'll accept the invitation. You won't be let down by um, the group. So let's dive into the whole drop shipping thing. So um, just for the sake of this presentation, I'm going to leave this tab open, all right? So I'm going to be speaking, and you're kind of going to be looking at our nice uh, pretty photos there, but um, what's important here is obviously the content, um, not necessarily the, the delivery. So what's 
here, let's talk about this. So drop shipping versus the affiliate. Um, I'm going to give my personal opinion. My personal opinion is that there are still guys making um, the drop shipping thing work, and there's still guys making the e-commerce thing work. But as an affiliate, I think it's harder um, potentially to have success with those things. And I'll explain why. As an affiliate marketer, you have the, um, the freedom to be very liquid. Uh, what I mean by liquid is you're able to move from one thing to another very quickly, okay? So, for example, my brother and I, um, the other day, were testing some uh, window uh, home services stuff on Facebook. And to be quite frank, it was expensive. It was expensive. Like, the, um, I think it still has promise, maybe with the right offer, but it was expensive. I mean, it was costing anywhere from 3 to $4 just to get someone to even visit the offer. And it's, if, if something is that expensive on um, any platform, including Facebook, the offer has to be amazing. Like the only way I'm going to profit on that window offer on Facebook, if it's costing me 3 or $4 to get somebody to the offer, the only way I'm going to be able to profit on that is if the offer does better than three or four dollar earning per click, right? I can't have it cost four dollars to get someone to the offer and only earn back a EPC earning per click of two dollars. I'd be losing half the money. So, what's great about affiliate marketing is you could be so um, so fluid. Is maybe actually a better word than liquid. You could be so fluid. It's like, uh, let me just put this into perspective. What if you just spent? the last eight months making a Windows Shopify store. I'm just saying, like, what if you just spent the last eight months building out an entire e-commerce site, an entire Shopify store about selling your custom Windows or something, and it didn't work? You just spent a lot of time. As an affiliate marketer, you could just test, test out things on Facebook, like Windows, solar, auto insurance, um, senior things, freebies. Uh, you could even promote e-commerce things as an affiliate, promote other people's e-commerce things as an affiliate. What I'm saying is that you better be really confident that what you're making a Shopify store around is actually going to succeed. I mean, I've seen this. Is, some affiliates just like don't know what they're doing and they've, they've made a lot of mistakes which can be avoided by watching a channel like this. Because in this channel... My brother and I talk about the mistakes we've done. We give real transparency. We give real advice. And we can save affiliates just years and years of pain and learning curve by just having people avoid the mistakes we've made. I mean, my brother and I, we've made the mistake. Um, about five years ago, we tried to sell a blow-up uh, beach chair. We, we called it the Breeze Lounger. I, I mean, I don't. the site probably doesn't exist anymore but we made some website breezelounger.com and we tried to sell um like this inflatable uh beach chair thing and we spent like half the year on it and it was pretty much a flop I, we we made like no money we 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 made a couple thousand bucks at most and it was um it just didn't succeed and the issue with this is you have to look at these things like opportunity cost what my brother and I could have been doing for those six months is we could have been um, just testing. We could have been just, if, 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 I, if we had spent those same six months just testing different affiliate offers, we probably would have just found some more affiliate offers that succeeded. We probably would have found more winning campaigns. Instead, we were kind of screwing around with this inflatable beach chair thing and it pretty much amounted to nothing. So does that mean that drop shipping and um, e-commerce and Shopify is bad? No, on the very flip side, there's been some people that have made these really clever um, products, like pet products. I've seen a really interesting one floating around the affiliate space where it helps you to save on, on your electric bill. Like there's some good ones out there. But if you're just trying to make money, if you're an affiliate and you're like, hey, I want to make money, I'm just going to like build this Shopify store selling jewelry, you are pretty much just doing the wrong thing. That is n probably not going to succeed. Um, especially in, in this day and age when every mom and pop has done that. I mean, just talk to any affiliate marketer. They've been there. They've done that. They've made the Shopify store for jewelry. They've made the camping 
a Shopify store. They've tried to make it work on Facebook, and it's just not really working anymore. I mean, that's what people were doing like six to eight years ago was they were just slapping together a Shopify store for jewelry, T-shirts, camping, um stuff like that. I think people are making it work right now with some political things like um but that's a whole different animal getting uh your Facebook account approved for political. It is possible, but it is a whole different animal. I think some people are really selling a quite a lot of political before the election here, right? Some timely things, but if you're watching this in 2020 and beyond and you're saying, "Hey, like I really want to make money. What's the best way to do that?" Um uh, the best way to make money is is probably not to try to do what was working six or eight years ago. It's to do what's working now. And we've stressed upon this in other videos, but what we um, really know is not just believe. I mean, this is what we're actually doing for our business. It's lead um, generation, like just generating leads for other businesses. It's not a new business model by any means. It's been around for like hundreds of years, not on the internet, but um, in traditional advertising, just generating leads has been around for like hundreds of years. And um, lead generation is never going away. Like there's never going to be a car insurance company or a solar company that just like never wants to buy leads anymore. I mean, the whole like world would have to get like blown up by some bomb or something for like every company to not want to buy, right? Like we're talking about like the world not even existing anymore by the time um, companies not wanting to buy leads. Companies are always going to be wanting to buy leads. I mean, I've been selling leads to uh, banks for like 90 bucks a lead. And I mean, we've been doing a lot of different things in the uh, the lead gen space, selling leads to AT&T, selling leads to um, TV, satellite providers. There's so many opportunities in lead gen. And um, what I recommend that you do if you're watching this video and you've actually been considering making one of these Shopify stores is I would recommend saving yourself the time and the effort and focus on something that does work. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a resource here. I've actually given it in previous videos, but I don't feel bad about um, it at all because it's so cheap. Um, cheap meaning uh, affordable, right? Like it's actually a great product. We just priced it very a low so that people could get their hands on it. If you go to optimizedconvert.com, our website, and you scroll over to products, we've put together this case study right here. Um, campaigns like this have earned the Day Brothers eight figures in affiliate commissions. We just show you an example campaign. Um, full transparency, is this the best campaign we have in, an in our entire business? No. If it was, we would not be pricing it for $7, but this is an example campaign. And why this could be beneficial is, number one, it only costs $7. If you don't have $7, there's a huge issue that you should be looking into, and you probably shouldn't be looking into getting into affiliate marketing if you only have 7 bucks. You should probably just get a job. Um, but Because affiliate marketing does take money to make money, right? Um, but yeah, I recommend this case study tremendously. And the reason why is because this case study shows you an example of a winning campaign in lead generation. It shows you how we promoted the campaign, the offer, the exact landing page, the ads. This basically gives you a little snapshot into lead generation. Is it going to teach you every secret under the sun? No, but guys, it's seven bucks. What do you expect? It's an example campaign. Now, we also do offer higher level stuff. If someone is higher level, I mean, you could buy the social lead gen blueprint the social lead gen blueprint is um 250 bucks it teaches it goes into detail about facebook how to launch facebook ads and more uh facebook strategies and if someone is really serious they could purchase an entire day nine to five day of one-on-one -on -one coaching with my brother if the person is um wanting help from A to Z, like how to set up things. They want to get their hands on like three or four winning campaigns. They want something uh, a little fresher. Maybe they, they think that the case study was nice for seven bucks, but um, they, they want to have some campaigns that are working now. Um, the day in the office coaching could be for that person. But um, in terms of getting a basic sense of lead generation, if you're watching this and you're literally like, where the heck do I go? with my affiliate marketing stuff, I highly advise just get this case study because it's going to show you a, an example of, of a lead gen campaign. Again, it's going to show you an exact campaign 
um, the ads we ran, the lander, the offer is going to show you a uh, campaign and then is at least going to give you an understanding of how the lead gen business um, worked. So I'm going to give some other free resources uh, before that. Check out these testimonials too. These are real testimonials. We don't uh, mess around with uh, making up the testimonials. I mean, that would be legally um, very risky and it's just not our style. I mean, as you know, we're very transparent, honest guys. Um, these are real success stories. We actually have a lot more success stories. I just didn't want to, um, I just didn't want to load the, uh, the sales page with just like a million, but I think we probably will make a product this fall. I think we're going to make like a $97, like mini course this fall. I think that one will just be loaded, loaded with testimonials. Um, I mean, we have over, we have at least like 50 to 70 like super 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 successful success stories granted we've only had a couple hundred students so out of the couple hundred students we've had um we've helped at least like 50 to 70 get tremendous success and when i talk tremendous i'm talking like life-changing um success now as we grow and as our training grows that number will obviously grow um, but check out some of these success stories i mean danny we taught him um, a lot of our strategies showed him some of our winning campaigns he started doing over $10,000 a day of revenue. His profit was probably at least two or $3,000 a day on that. Um, Tariq here is one of the first students we um, ever coached, actually. And after our coaching, he was able to start earning $12,000 per month of profit. Um, Ed and Alex was able to also do over $10,000 per day. Um, and there's dozens and dozens of other... Um, testimonials. Anyway, guys, here's what I recommend you do, though. For training, check out some of these videos. Um, <clears throat> if you are into Facebook ads, my brother put out this training on CBO versus ABO. So go to our channel and then go to CBO versus ABO. Um, this is really insightful into the um, the Facebook core, because we're building out this site. So here's what our thoughts are. Um, in the fall, we're going to be launching a um, course, and it's going to be for completely cold traffic. Um, basically, we're going to be launching a course. And I, I mean, look, if you're a newbie, get excited about it. If you're seasoned, you know, it's this course is for newbies, the one I'm talking about. In the fall, we're going to be making a course and it's going to be priced at about a hundred bucks. The course is going to be like geared towards the newest of newbies. The course is basically going to be um, teaching people that have never, ever done affiliate marketing before how to succeed in affiliate marketing. And what we're going to do on that course is we'll probably put a lot of testimonials, like literally, it's going to be crazy. Like we'll probably... Um, almost do it Sam Oven style where there's just like hundreds and hundreds of testimonials because um, you guys obviously know who we are. You follow our YouTube channel, stuff like that. The people that are just coming off of the internet like cold that have never heard us before, they have no idea who we are. So the social proof um, can be very beneficial for those type of campaigns. Um, so I want to show you some videos here that are going to be um, really beneficial. Um, there's some good mindset ones like this one, how to go from zero to hero. It it tells our story of how we got started. I mean, when we got started in affiliate marketing, I had about $2,000 in my bank account and my brother had like a thousand bucks. We probably had less money than you guys watching this right now. And we made this work. It wasn't an instant success. Um, we failed for a few years, but then we did get it to really succeed. And we've been super um, full time ever since. This is a really good one, this affiliate marketing team, like how to build an affiliate team, um, why some affiliates win and some don't, a great mindset um, video from my brother. So what I recommend you guys do right now is grab that $7 case study if you don't have it already. If you do have it, um, it's the same case study, guys, that you already have, okay? It's not like a new one. So just, you know, if you already bought the $7 case study, you just, it's the same one. It hasn't changes right but if you don't have the case study already get it it's only seven bucks it will show you um exactly this lead gen stuff i was talking about at least when it, an example campaign and then what i recommend doing is subscribe to our channel hit that red button um right below this video 
and check out some of the back content because you can go through this back content and there's all this different stuff I do, uh, review about ClickBank, um, can I use MailChimp for affiliate marketing, volume tracking, I review some different people in space like Tim Bird, Charles No, give my insight on them. Uh, great guys, by the way. I talk about some affiliate conferences that hopefully revive after Corona. Landing pages. I mean, there is so much value in this YouTube channel alone. You could spend the next two or three weeks. Um, it would probably literally take you at least one to three weeks straight to watch um, all the videos we have now. And we are, this is one of the strongest videos right here. Look at this one. How to scale affiliate campaigns to $10,000 um, per day. This is one of the tutorials we did early on. For our subscribers, a little presentation, but this is like, this is one of our strongest videos right now is how to scale the campaigns to over 10,000 a day. So watch this video. It's going to be very insightful. I recommend actually watching this video next, um, how to scale to 10,000 a day. So why don't you watch that video, subscribe to the channel, and um, keep a lookout this week. I'll put out more videos. And if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out. How you can ask a question is just go to our site, Optimize to Convert, press Contact Us, and go like this. Send an email to Optimize to Convert. Now, you could fill out this whole form thing, but the form thing has not been going directly to our email. If you just literally want to reach out to us, this right here, send us an email at Optimize to Convert again. So don't, don't fill out the form because the form just goes into WordPress and it's just, it is what it is. But this right here is our actual email that we've been checking. All right, so if you have any questions, email us there, subscribe to our channel, and we'll talk soon. This is Peter Day. Have a great day. And uh, I'll be in touch in a day or two for a new YouTube video. I'm training on something different. So um, again, this is Peter Day. I'm checking out and we'll talk in a bit. All right, bye.